What's up, nerds? Honkai Star Rail has been very systematic in the way that they release the drip marketing for new characters. In fact, up to this point, we've been able to accurately predict the day and even the time these new character reveals will take place. However, this time around, it's a little bit different. Patch 2.0 has been the longest patch in the entire game's lifespan. Sparkle's banner was extended an entire week, making her banner and the patch the longest we've ever seen in the game. And that means that Patch 2.2's drip marketing was also pushed back an entire week. And for some reason, they have not revealed a new four-star character quite yet. A new four-star character is sometimes revealed along with one of the other five-star characters, which gives us a bit of a hint, a bit of a clue as to when the four-star will be released. However, the new five stars have already been revealed. In the event that does not take place, the four-star is always revealed to us the next day, which would have been yesterday, and today has already passed. So. What gives? The drip marketing in question would be for patch 2.2, and interestingly, very soon we have the special programming for patch 2.1. Once that occurs, Hoyoverse will be focusing on the new patch releasing, and they won't be focusing on the drip marketing or advertising for patch 2.2. So there's technically still some time for this four star to be revealed. However, it's not very much and the chances are very slim. It has much of the player base. In fact, it could be most of the player base thinking there's no four star character coming for 2.2. So sit back, buckle up, and let's go over why this might be happening. I just wanted to point out that our good friend of the channel, Box2, has also been farming the new character reveals as well, but lately it hasn't exactly gone very well. I mean, look at this copium right here. Surely they'll trip Park at the four star character today, right? This early, it's today. Oh my god, dude. Like several days in a row have gone by and they have not given us even a hint of a new four star character coming out. A member of my Discord ended up showing me something that was just originally supposed to be something very funny, something very goofy, some major copium from a Honkai Star Rail player. But then I looked into the situation and it gets really, really interesting, actually. Now, First, let's go ahead and read this comment, but first, I just wanted to point out that this situation has people up in arms, not just because of the four-star character that we have yet to be revealed, but also because of the Boot Hill reveal. Some people are rather upset about it because they were hoping for and expecting either Firefly or Sam. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. But let's go ahead and read this real quick. I won! She exists! She's really coming in 2.2, not 2.3. It's the Hu Tao situation from Genshin all over again. Have two banners that's already showcased, don't show a four star, and leave the rest of the minds of the people. She's the hidden banner that we always needed. All over Honkai Star Rail, we had three characters released each update. And this one, there's two. Massively suspicious. Why so suddenly too? Where did all the characters go? I thought there was plenty of characters coming out so we would be filled with three characters and update. All I know is that I'm preparing intensely. For I know that Firefly Sam is real. Get yourself ready too. I won't be too long. The picture is just stating that's coming out. It's nothing more. And lastly, I forgive Boot Hill for playing a trick on the entire community. Sit back and relax. I'm winning! Naturally, after reading this, I assumed this person was insane, and I still think that they're insane. However, I looked into this a little bit, and I ended up finding something interesting. Little fun fact about Hu Tao's banner. Hu Tao's first banner had to be delayed because it was around the Chinese New Year, a time when you're not supposed to talk about the dead. And I was like, what are you talking about? Her rerun banner apparently comes, or at least it came, on Dios de los Muertos, literally translated to the Day of the Dead. And then I was reminded of something. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, she's fine. Ah! Oh, my God. oh, no, no, oh, skewered like a shish kebab. So although this situation with this is a little bit interesting and kind of fun to speculate on, I don't really know if this necessarily has anything to do with the missing four star or why Sam or Firefly wasn't revealed because I will admit I do feel like Sam speaks to me like a five star character. I don't think they're the missing four star. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to say it's definitely a no for me, dog. 
It is true, though. I looked into this myself ever since I started becoming suspicious of this whole entire four-star situation. We have gotten a new four-star every single time that it mattered. The only time it wouldn't have mattered is in 1.0, because technically they released a plethora of new four-stars in 1.0. In 1.1 1 .1 is when it would have first started mattering, and we did get a new four-star. Yu Kong, you know, then the next patch, Su Shong, next patch, Lynx, so on and so forth. We have gotten a new four-star quite literally every single banner. The the only one that is acting a little bit weird, the only one we're a bit worried about or confused about is patch 2.2. I did mention at the beginning of the video that there is still technically some time for them to be able to reveal the four star character before the 2.1 special programming occurs here. If you're interested in that, you can come to their Twitter, click the link, it'll take you to their YouTube channel where you can see when this is supposed to air in your region. I will be streaming this as well if you're interested when this does air. But this is a little bit weird regardless, no matter how you look at it. Even if they do give us a four star, it's just the timing's very strange. It seems like there's almost something planned on their part. Or they might just not be releasing a four star, which is also going to be rather weird. The four stars are still fun to pull for. The four stars are still good. There are sometimes four stars that end up being rather good in this game and having their place in the meta. So it would be a little disappointing if they don't release a four star. It's not the end of the world. We did also get an announcement in place of what would normally have been the four star reveal. We have been shown that we are getting the Calyx, um, you know, uh, increased drop rate event, which will help people farm for new characters coming in 2.1, such as Aventurine or Gallagher or Art or sorry, Acheron. So if you're interested in that, obviously you will get news of that in the actual game itself. So definitely pay attention for that coming out so that you can get farming for your new character. But this is still a little bit of a strange situation no matter how you look at it. But as insane as that Firefly sim seems to be, they do make at least one good point, right? There's a lot of characters in this game that have yet to be revealed as playable characters. Screwlim, for example, has been around since 1.0, and he has yet to become a playable character. He's even on a light cone. And there's that age-old saying of if they're on a light cone, they'll end up becoming playable because literally every single other character besides him has been on a light cone that has been revealed as a playable character up to this point. And we also have characters named from the IPC and from the Genius Society that seem important to the game lore that could end up becoming playable but forget about that we've entered panacone now there's an entire new world of characters that have yet to be revealed as playable characters the annihilation gang every single one of them is possibly a playable character there's every single member of the family that we have yet to be revealed to as a playable character and gallagher is associated with a group that could end up having playable characters as well and i'm sure there's something i'm forgetting about right now so what i feel like in this situation is going on is that there might be some some story implications for as to why they have yet to show us this potential four star character or 2.2 that could end up existing now yeah they have technically shown us like sort of like the goods ahead of time dr ratio did anybody hear about that guy before they revealed him to us no he was never shown to us before robin just got her reveal and she was uh, apparently stabbed through the chest on Pentagoni's main story yet she's gonna become a playable character and she's dancing around in a birdcage in her splash art as if she's totally fine i mean it doesn't seem like they're like too unwilling to show us something that could end up coming out that could have story implications but maybe they're stirring up something really nice and spicy for us or something that could be associated with the anniversary so that's what i'm hopeful for it's likely we will get a character for 2.2 whether they show us that yet or not so if you like tinfoil hat speculation and honkai star world content consider leaving a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace out